In this question, we're looking at standard deviation. And a good way to think about standard deviation is how far the values deviate from the center. Uh, it is how far they deviate from the average, uh, but just think how far they deviate from the center. So the first graph, these are English scores, and the second graph, these are math scores. So this first graph here, the English score graph, a lot of students are scoring in the 70s and 80s, and only a few students score in the 60s and 90s. So right here, most students are scoring probably pretty close to a 75. That would be between 70 and 80. So here, a lot of students are getting very close to 75. When a lot of data is very close to the middle, this is a small standard deviation, meaning most of the data are very close to the middle. So this is what we call a bell-shaped curve here. You get uh, a lot in the middle, and as you move towards the edge, you get much smaller amounts. So this is what we would call a small standard deviation. So most of the data are very close to the center. We're going to look at the math score data next. Now the math score, the average is probably somewhere close to 75 again. But let's look, very few students scored in the 70s, not many students scored in the 80s. Most students did really bad or really good, meaning they're far away from this middle right here. So it probably has a very similar average. However, most students, most scores are very far away from this middle value. So that means we have a very large standard deviation. So if your standard deviation is big, it means your data is very spread out. There's not many near the center. If you have a small standard deviation, it means most of your data is very close to the center.